Hi, I'm Jim Hotaling, Managing Director of Leadership Development at N2 Growth. And I'm here today with Gordon Barrage, our senior partner and country president of the UK. Gordon, uh, good morning to you. Good morning, Jim. And uh, really looking forward to this conversation with you. And it's on the topic of leadership. And as we're going around the globe here and meeting with uh, all of our business partners, really trying to get a global perspective of that one leadership mindset moment from your point of view that helped shape you to become the senior executive that you are today. So I'd love for you to share that with us. Hmm. Well, I, th I think ultimately what it boils down to is responsibility and ownership, uh, leadership hmm. uh, and, and taking that over. I mean, you look at uh, the amalgamation of all of the different attributes, behaviors and uh, uh, abilities, I think, that, that create uh, great leadership and uh, it's not very it's not very clear I think what makes leaders great at what they do across the board it's a, a, like I say an amal amalgamation of many of these mm. things um, you know I, I work with with private equity companies uh, large global corporate companies across a, uh, a scale of different sizes and, uh, and obviously in different locations and it's it, like I say it's not accurate as to what is the the best formulation of, of, of leaders in those in those companies, I think it's a, a mix of many th different things. But what I've what I've seen to uh, to be most uh, I guess important in these uh, in these organisations is that the ability of the the leader to influence and inspire. Mm. Um, their, their, their teams um, to take responsibility and take ownership. So it, no matter your background of your education, your training, your experiences, at the end of the day, a great leader must be able to influence his teams to get to that point of execution. Absolutely. And, and yeah. you know, I think when you're, you're looking at hiring as well in particular, um, a certain degree of awareness of yourself uh, and where your weaknesses lie, I think, as well. So, if you're hiring, uh, if you're hiring to better your weaknesses, yeah, um, I think I think that serves you and your company very well as well. Fantastic point. Thanks for your time today, Gordon. We appreciate your point of view. No